our peatland sites are really important and Eyes on the Bog helps us to understand what's happening on these sites. There are three main things the scheme monitors. One is peat accumulation and erosion. One is the general behaviour of the water table. And the final one is vegetation. We're on White Moss, which is part of the Marsden Moor Estate. And we are out today installing these amazing totemic markers that have been made by a local blacksmith, Owen Phillips, as part of the Eyes on the Bog project. National Trust approached me and asked if I could help them come up with some totemic markers which we could put out there to act as photography points. So I uh, took my inspiration from the wildlife that hangs out up on the moor up there, so I did some sketches in my book. I came up with a, a curlew, which is a moorland bird, which is kind of uh, iconic, and uh, a mountain hare. They start life as flat bars of mild steel, I get them hot in the forge, and then start to forge in on them with hand tools, with hammers and punches and chisels and things like that, and then work them under the power hammer. And then I start to kind of like work abstract shapes around in order to give off the vibe, the form of the creatures that I'm going for without necessarily sort of being a kind of like hyper-realistic depiction. Part of the personality of it is the personality that's been put in with, you know, each individual hammer blow. We try and keep that in there as much as possible. I spend a lot of time up on our local moors. I really enjoy being up there, so it's really nice to have some bits of my work becoming part of the landscape. By putting out these totemic markers, people are able to find out more about the monitoring that we're doing and actually to participate as well. So by taking a photograph and sending that in to us at Marsden Moor, then we can actually use your photos to monitor how the landscape and the vegetation within it changes over time. So we have surface level markers. They look a little bit like this, but they're full length, so they're sunk to the depth of the peak, which in some places might be up to five or six metres deep. And the washer on the top, we're able to then measure the distance between the ground surface and the bottom of the washer. And that tells us whether we're losing peat if the peatland's degraded or if we're actually starting to accumulate peat over time. So a lot of the monitoring at Marsden Moor is carried out by volunteers and we've set up about 23 of these sites across Marsden Moor. So over time we hope that the data that the volunteers collect from these monitoring sites is really going to help us understand how the condition of the moors is changing over time. All of those studies are designed to be long term. Uh, with peat growing about a millimetre a year, you can see how long it's going to take us to, to see if there's any change or not. Degradation is sometimes quicker than that, so we can pick that up. But essentially that's the work that we're doing with Eyes on the Bog. For, as one have said earlier on, for our grandchildren, let alone us, and their children, so that this is here and in a healthy state in decades in the future, it's really important.